Today, we're gonna to be using Notion to help me achieve my 2023 New Year's resolutions. Now, if you guys want the templates that are provided in this video, I'm gonna link down below. It is 100% free to download. All I ask is you guys subscribe because it helps out that YouTube algorithm. Now, the reason why I'm switching over to Notion is on a daily basis, I do write down what I wanna achieve at the day, but I'm missing the larger picture. So I feel like tracking my goals specifically on Notion are gonna really, really help me. Uh, but before I go into the specific goals, I also had a reflection page going over what I think I did great in 2022, what I failed out, and kind of looking at the broad overall picture, as well as what I want to achieve for 23. I think having that step there is vital before you even really go into these goals at a micro level. So I'm going to jump on my computer and show you guys a few different things on there. So if Notion loaded up, let's go over my 2022 reflection first before I go into 23. Now, my biggest wins of 22, let's talk about those. First, I have my other YouTube channel, Breakout Cards, which I really enjoy, you know, clicking sports cards. And we're able to scale that quite a bit. We've been able to get 10,000 subscribers on that channel. Now, what's kind of cool is I'm in a super small niche in that. So like the biggest YouTuber in there has 200,000 subscribers. There's two of them, but they focus on modern. I focus on vintage, which is a very small subsection. So being able to get 10,000, even though it is a vanity metric, I thought that was really awesome. Top of that, being able to get 150 to 200 followers a week on average these last few months on Twitter, really been focusing on scaling that and implementing some techniques. So should be hitting 10,000 followers as well on that in January, which is really cool. One thing that I do to as kind of like a side hustle is flipping sports cards at these shows. So I've been able to really achieve a higher level into that, being able to start flipping some cards that are anywhere from like a thousand to five thousand dollars before this year, really focused on a lot of cheaper cards, mostly under a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. So I'm starting to get a higher end customer base, which is fantastic to do. And also I have a book called Spotting Fakes. We're able to sell over one thousand copies this year, which is absolutely phenomenal. So my full-time job outside of doing sports cards as a hobby is a data analyst. And throughout the year, I feel my SQL skill set has greatly improved just based off of the complexity of the queries that I've been able to work on in MS SQL between January and December. I definitely noticed a trend in getting some more advanced stuff on that side of things, as well as kind of like the projects that I've taken on too, more like research and th finding out things that were broken. And lastly, I was able to buy my first house. Unfortunately, I wanted to be able to move in before I made this YouTube video. However, it got delayed until mid January. So I'm not waiting to make this. I wanted to record this right now, but still a huge step for me and my girlfriend were able to achieve that first house. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. Now, my biggest failures of 2022, I really think the biggest one is not working out. Every single year, I've been really focusing on running a marathon. And this year, I completely skipped it. In fact, right now, I don't think I could run more than 10 miles. I've gained a ton of weight. And that's because for like my hobby YouTube channel, Breakout Cards, I've been traveling to card shows every single weekend. I'd eat horrible over there. I'm really addicted to sodas, which is not a good thing because you can really start drinking them and adding on the calories fast and just not having a good diet even day to day. So that's something I really need to focus on next year. Also, I'm addicted to this thing right here, my phone. I'm on this all the time. I kind of use it as a crutch to avoid social conversations. And anytime I'm bored, I'm on my phone. I need to really use that time to focus on this YouTube channel and also reading more books. Also, if I can't sleep at night, I need to figure out other ways because I'm on this super, super late. One thing that kind of sucks as well is I stopped playing my guitar as much. I used to play my acoustic guitar or even my electric as a way to de-stress at the end of the day. And being in this environment that I'm in right now until I'm able to move in my new house, just had no motivation to be able to play it. Ever since I broke my string a few months ago, just never ended up going to Sam Ash to replace it, which is pretty unfortunate. So definitely something that needs to be done. And also my personal hygiene I really stopped caring about my skin as much as I used to. I used to watch a lot of YouTube tutorials, try to figure out how to get the best skin techniques. Now, I do drink a lot of water, which is good. However, I've been really lacking on moisturizing it and focusing on taking it to the next level. So from that, like what I learned is I need to really hold myself more accountable. That's why a tool like Notion really helps. I can put in my thoughts every single day, click off check marks and everything like that. 
Beginning of the day, I usually write down my notes on a piece of paper, which I'm still going to do. I want to start tracking my goals in Notion day after day, as well as like vlogging and recording my progress throughout the year, which you guys are going to be seeing on this channel and just summarize that over there for you guys. So lastly, before we go into this database that I created, you know, I wanted to talk about some jot down some thoughts for 2023, what I really want to do. Top priority is pretty much lose 30 pounds. I need to, I've gotten way too fat, as you guys know, fix my personal hygiene, build out new revenue sources, for both the breakout business and my own YouTube channel, manage time more effectively. That means not using this as much, eat healthier, sleep better, and really improve my data analyst role. Uh, and still they're going from a position one into a position two or a three. So now we're going to jump into this database. I really broken out my goals into five different sections. I have some for my breakout cards, YouTube channel, some for my personal YouTube channel, exercise and health home, and then also books. Now I try to put more high priority stuff towards the top of these lists books. I'm not going to lie. These have not been organized yet. I'm probably gonna read more than six throughout the year. And these are all on my list. So this is just a good starting point for me. Now on the breakout cards, YouTube channel, I want to upload 100 videos, scale to hundred K in inventory, 40 weekly live streams, outsource some of my social media work, launch a greeting submission business, hire a shorts and a top 10 editor. So shorts that you can use on like TikTok, YouTube, or also Instagram. I have a series for top 10 videos. And then I want to have 50 new articles on my website. And if you want to see more details on these goals as well, I have a tab over here on this table where I set the goal name, the different notes that are associated with it, the goal type, which brings them into these five buckets over here, the progress associated, which all these are going to be technically no progress. I'll show you guys the progress section in a second, as well as the start date on these, because when you start New Year's resolutions, not everything is going to be started on in January 1st. Some you're going to have to progress into. And so like something like clean eating, I'm going to turn that into a habit after the first month, continue to reiterate that month after month. If you focus on too many things at once, you're going to overload. So slowly progress into each of these over here. And one thing that's really cool about Notion too, is as I'm able to build out my ideas on how I can accomplish these goals. I can actually go over here and click this goal name and write it out. So we can have it directly in here, the notes, the progress start date. And then you can also literally build out a whole page on this. So like cloud with five YouTubers. Okay. Find these YouTubers, YouTubers, build out videos with YouTuber and add in whatever comments that you want and really build out this specific page towards the task. I have my own different goal tracker for YouTube itself. So don't know hundred percent if I'm going to use this specifically for the YouTube goals, but for some of my other stuff, like running a marathon, optimizing sleep, clean eating probably will until I ended up making their own specific pages. So that way I can track it every single day. So my own personal YouTube channel here, I want to upload 52 videos, at least one every single week, establish social media profiles, definitely up there, but not as much of a priority as creating content for YouTube right now, launch a product, which I think right now I could either do templates or some type of consulting based off of marketing. Not sure. But again, for like at least for the first three to six months, really need to hammer down on the YouTube videos, collab with five YouTubers towards later end of the year, and also hire an editor to be able to free more time to focus on launching products. Now, exercise and health, I want to cut out soda because I feel like that's a really simple win to lose weight and start getting healthier. I want to quit my phone addiction. That'll get me more free time at in the day, run my marathon so I can reset that marathon streak, better hygiene so that I can be healthier and look better long term, optimize sleep so that I have more ability to function throughout the day, establish a stretching routine so that way I don't get injured while running establish a dumbbell exercise routine. So that way I don't look super skinny like I am right now. And then clean eating. I'm going to build out my YouTube studio, which is going to be really, really cool. Hopefully multiple cameras, a really nice backdrop instead of like all that right over there. And then build out my main room. So I can be able to sleep a lot better, large bed, blackout curtains, really focus on the functionality of that room as well. Build out my gym downstairs. I'll get some weight sets, treadmill, and also some yoga pads so that way I can stretch daily. Also build up my lounge, which I think I'll be using a lot of books over there and also the guest bedroom. And lastly, here are some of the different books that I want to read. I want to read Happy Sexy Millionaire, 100 Million Offers, 
the luck factor, art and business of online writing, story worthy, and purple cow. And as promised from earlier, you can go over here to the progress tracker and you guys can see all the goals in one level. So I can see over here where I have no progress at all, some progress, lots of progress, and habit or complete. All these technically have no progress right now, but just to make it easy to display. And once again, you can click this and go over to this tab. So that is how I'm gonna be using Notion to hit my new year's resolutions in 2023. Let me know your goals down below for the year and I'll see you in another video.